Good morning, good morning, good morning to my family. Good morning to everyone that's watching this video. Um, today I'm going to be talking about storms. Um, how to how to understand why we go through storms and the reason for storms. But um, I want to say to you guys today, if you haven't submitted your life to Christ, I pray that that you submit your life to Christ. Um, we're in a time nowadays that we need Jesus. We need Jesus a part of our life. And we need to submit our life. And we should ask for forgiveness. If you haven't asked for forgiveness yet, submit your life to Christ and and ask the Holy Spirit to come in your life. Um, storms. We all face storms in our life. And sometimes we don't understand why we face these storms in our life. And I believe the reason why we face storms in our life is because that's a way that God gets our attention. I feel like we wouldn't, we, we can find Jesus in the middle of the storm, you know, but we just have to have faith. We have to have faith that he's going to bring us out. And I really thank God for all the storms that I've been through because without him, I wouldn't have overcame those storms. So I pray right now, no matter what you're going through, no matter what the devil throws at you, no matter what the enemy says about you, I pray that God comes into your life and how you can, how you can overcome these storms. Ask the Holy Spirit to come in your life. Pray. Read your Bible. Never take life for, for a regret. Never regret anything in your life. Because you know what? God knows the beginning and he knows the end. And he wants to be a part of your life. So no matter what you may be going through right now. No matter what you may be facing. I pray right now that that it's done, that you invite Jesus into your life, that that Jesus sees what you're going through. But I'm asking you right now to submit your life if you haven't submitted your life already. See, Jesus wants us a part of the Christ family. He wants us to be more like Christ. No, we're not perfect. We probably won't be perfect, but they say those that try will succeed. Never give up. No matter what you may be facing right now, Jesus said that it's done. Jesus said that it is done right now in the name of Jesus. If you claim it, receive it, then it's yours. But I ask right now that you invite Jesus into your heart. If you haven't invited Jesus into your heart already, I encourage you to tell someone about Jesus today. Tell somebody about Jesus. You never know what that person may be going through. Just your kind words can can lift somebody's spirit up. And I just pray right now that the Holy Spirit uses you. I pray that the Holy Spirit blesses your family. I pray that the Holy Spirit works in your life. I pray that the Holy Spirit takes the thought of sin out of your mind. And I pray that he takes the, the taste out of your mouth. Like, we need Jesus today, y'all. We need Jesus. And I pray that for anybody that's watching this video, I pray that God sees your heart. I pray that he sees whatever you're going through, no matter what storms, no matter what the devil tries to do. I pray that God touches you. I pray that he protects you. I pray that he covers you right now in the name of Jesus. Y'all, we need prayer. We need to stay prayed up. We need to stay prayed up. It's a lot of things that's going on in the world today, and some some of us may not understand, but if you call on the name of Jesus... Jesus, he is the reason for the season and he wants to be a part of your life and he wants you to submit your life to him today. And I encourage you, if you if you know Jesus and you know somebody that don't know Jesus, I encourage you to tell somebody about Jesus today. 
tell somebody about Jesus. We need to start being witnesses. We need to start spreading the gospel, letting folks know that Jesus Christ is Lord and that he died on the cross for our sins and that he rose on the third day with all power in his hand. We can make it. All we have to do is call on the name of Jesus. I believe we need storms in our life. You know, we need storms in our life because, you know what, if we didn't go through nothing, we wouldn't know how God works. And see, God works at his best when you're going through it. When you're going through something and you be like, you don't know how you're going to get through it. You don't know what 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 is going to happen. But when you call on the name of Jesus, he will supply your every need. Remember, have faith. Have faith. If you have faith, God has the power. And I pray right now, if you're watching this video, that God sees your heart. I pray that he blesses you. I pray that he touches your kids. I pray that he protects you. I pray that he watches over you. I pray that he leads you. And, and, and we rebuke the devil right now in the name of Jesus. We rebuke the devil right now in the name of Jesus. He have no authority. He has no power over your life, over your children's life. And I just pray for your protection. If you woke up this morning, you are blessed. You are blessed in the name of Jesus. So no matter what you may be going through, no matter what you may be facing, God has the answer. All he wants you to do is call on his name. I pray right now that you submit your life. Submit your life to Jesus Christ and repent for your sins. Repent for your sins. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you and he wants you a part of the body of Christ. I love you and Jesus Christ loves you more. But he wants you to submit your life to him. Submit your life. Remember, tell somebody about Jesus today. I promise you, Jesus loves you and he wants you and he wants to see you succeed. He wants to see he wants to see you be successful in life. But he also wants you to submit your life to him today while you have the opportunity. Don't wait for tomorrow. Tomorrow is too late. Do it now while you can breathe, while you have while you have the air. Do it now. Ask Jesus to come into your heart. All you have to do is call on the name of Jesus and he will, he will see about you. No matter what you may be facing, Jesus loves you. He loves you and he wants to do good things in your life. But we have to turn from our evil ways and we have to submit our life to Jesus Christ. What we do for Christ will last. This world we have to push away. We don't we don't need the worldly things. If you call on the power of Jesus, he will supply your every need. And I pray right now for for you that's watching this video, I pray that God comes into your life. I pray that he sees what you're going through. I pray that he delivers you. I pray that he takes the thought of sin out of your mind. I pray that he gives you a new heart. I pray that he leads you and that he guides you. Call on Jesus, no matter what you're going through. You might be going through a storm right now. You may be coming out of a storm. You may be entering a storm. But I can tell you what, through it all, Jesus is there. No matter what you're going through, Jesus is there and he wants to be a part of your life. So remember, if you're going through something, I believe that Jesus will see you through it. And I pray right now that you ask the Holy Spirit to come into your life. So I encourage you today, if you know Jesus and you know someone that don't know Jesus, I encourage you to encourage them and tell them that Jesus is real and that he loves them and that he wants to be a part of their life. Be encouraged today. Tell somebody about Jesus. I love y'all and Jesus loves you more. Be encouraged. Pray. Pray. Pray and listen and be blessed. Y'all stay prayed up. I love y'all.
Y'all take care.